Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be covering KFC's Colonel Sanders. Now, this character from DC Comics was actually based on a real life individual named Harlan David Sanders, who was born September 9th, 1890 in Henryville, Indiana. Now, of course, he's the founder of Sanders Court and Cafe, which went on to become Kentucky Fried Chicken, AKA KFC which to this day has become one of the biggest fast food chains in the world, having more than 21,000 locations internationally. Now the DC Comics character naturally goes by Colonel Sanders as well, and he stands five feet 10 inches tall, just like the original Colonel Sanders, and he also wears the trademark white suit, black string bow tie, and black rimmed glasses, having pure white hair and an iconic white goatee. He first appeared in comics in 2015's KFC issue number one, The Colonel of Two Worlds, featuring The Flash from the Justice League. In this hilarious but yet critically acclaimed debut, Colonel Sanders joined up with the speedster to battle against the evil Colonel Sunder from Earth 3. This villain was the exact opposite of Colonel Sanders, even wearing an all black suit and white string bow tie. I guess you could call him an anti-colonel. This anti-colonel would attempt to sully Colonel Sanders' good name by invading our earth and implementing a plan to start selling mediocre fried chicken. But thank goodness Colonel Sanders has nice hands. And with the help of the Flash, he defeats Colonel Sunder, all while proclaiming the goodness of his secret blend of 11 herbs and spices. <laughs> Come on, man, this is the most ignorant. All right, okay, all right, all right. Now, a year later in KFC's issue number two, The Colonel Corps, the Anti-Colonel would show up again, attacking the multiverse in the future of fried chicken lies. In this issue, Colonel Sanders received help from his multiple iterations across the multiverse. These included a female version of himself, a futuristic version, a chicken version, and even a Hulk-like version, among many others. Together, they ended up saving the day. From here, Colonel Sanders would go on to have his latest appearance in KFC issue number three, Across the Universe. In this installment, he goes on to team up with yet another Justice League member, namely the Green Lantern. The Colonel actually allied with Green Lantern to quote, bring crunchy, spicy satisfaction to a hungry universe, end quote. But then trouble strikes and someone takes all of his Zinger sandwiches that were headed for outer space. But of course, he and GL quickly recover his delicious recipe chicken, thus rekindling hope for hungry beings across the cosmos. Now, due to his ability to deep fry chicken the hard way and his influence on the DC universe, for my one to 10 rating, I'll give Colonel Sanders a rating of five, which is an enigmatic rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to the new Sage.